Hello there, Internet! Today, I want to introduce you to a new series idea of mine that I would like to call Ruse Gaming Diary. This is going to be a review, commentary, recap series I want to try out, since I feel a little bit more comfortable doing this kind of content. I'm not a big improv guy, as you can probably tell from my Let's Play videos. Speaking of Let's Plays, we will continue Kiryu Kazuma's adventure in Yakuza 0 in this series. So let me welcome you to the first entry of my gaming diary. Welcome to Yakuza 0. So far we made it all the way to the end of chapter 5, An Honest Living, in which our old friend Avano dropped by Serena to make Kiryu an offer he can't refuse, which he promptly refused. <laughs> Chapter 6, The Yakuza Way, picks up right after those events. Turns out that Oda and Nishiki don't get along very well, and I suspect that my sworn brother is a little bit jealous of my new friend. In Nishiki's defense, Oda does pull a fast one on us to warn Tachibana about the imminent danger he's in. With nothing else to do, Kiryu decides to check out the crime scene of the murder he's being framed for. Things don't look too good for Kiryu and me until Tachibana suddenly shows up. He has good news too, he found the owner of the empty lot. And he just needs one more day to get a hold of him. My new boss also explains that Kuza probably isn't behind the murder we are framed for. With nothing better to do, I decide to head home now but I bump into a peculiar young man. Mr. Moneybags over here teaches Kiryu the money confetti ability, allowing him to clear a path through these pesky pedestrians in no time. This may be a useful skill, I still prefer to knock people on their asses. And that's not the only advice I get. Mr. Moneybags also talks about a fast and easy way to make money. All I have to do is to check a mysterious store in Theater Square, where dreams come true. What harm could come from that? So I decided to check it out. Turns out there is a huge underground fighting arena in Kamurocho. But that's no ordinary boring fighting arena. This is the Japanese Cat Fight Club. With nothing else to do, I decide to hang around a bit and it turns out that you can bet on the fights here. The fights themselves are just convoluted games of rock, paper, scissor. Not that I'm complaining, they certainly have their... charm. Nice. It may be just rock, paper, scissors, but for the life of me, I just couldn't win a single game of it. Maybe I got too distracted. Now really exhausted, Kiryu and I decide to head home and hit the hay. While Kiryu is taking a well-deserved nap, I got to spy on a Dojima family meeting. Since Kiryu didn't hand over Tachibana, Avano and friends decide to drop the friendly act and start the hunt for him. Come the next day, Kiryu has to learn that the hard way as he has to fight his way through hordes of Dojima family men. Things look really dire until a stripper offers me to use her back door into the sewers. No, that's not a euphemism. The whole thing is quickly confirmed as a trap, as Kuza makes an awesome entrance. I guess it's time for round 2 of our fight. By now I unlocked the Dragon of Dojima style and maxed out pretty much all available abilities, which pretty much puts me into god mode. So I have no problems in kicking Kuzu's ass. Kiryu and I end up at the Deborah Club, where we interrupt Avano having fun. He tries to convince Kiryu to join him by threatening his childhood home and friends. He also decides to commit murder for no reason. Guess she didn't offer him to use her back door. <laughs> Murder is fun. Now we have two choices. Join Amano to rule the galaxy together, or walk away to be murdered by his man. 
Kiryu declines to offer like a badass. And it turns out that Avano is full of shit. With nowhere to hide now, I'm pretty lucky that Nishiki suddenly shows up to help me escape. The brothers make it out of Tokyo and take a break to enjoy a cigarette. Nishiki also tries to kill Kiryu. He just wants to spare him the gruesome torture after being caught. That's really nice of him. Of course, they share a tear jerking moment afterwards. <laughs> Kiryu also gives Nishiki the whole I don't really love you, stay away from me spiel and leaves him behind right in the middle of nowhere. I think he takes it pretty well. And this concludes chapter 6, the Yakuza way and this entry of my gaming diary. Thank you for joining me, I see you next time, bye bye.